Greetings, everybody. It is the Doctor, and we are continuing leveling Ensign Ricky from 50 to 60. In the last couple of videos, we did some actual Delta Quadrant missions. We did, let's see, we did Know Your Enemies and then Capture the Flag. So that is very cool. Those were actual missions. Those required level 55. The next mission, Dragon's Deceit, requires level 56. We are not 56 yet, as you can see. We've got about halfway to go to 56. But what we can do is switch over and do some Kobali Prime storyline missions, because some new ones should have opened up now that we are a couple more levels up from where we started the Kobali Prime mission. So maybe there's some new stuff down there we can do. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I don't know how long it's going to last or how long it'll take. If it starts to uh, go for a long period of time, I'll just uh, cut the video up into different ones. So I don't know how long these missions on Kobali Prime last. They may be really quick or easy or fast, or they may be really long, so I don't know. So far they've been really short missions, so I'm, I'm guessing that's probably what we'll get. So maybe we'll get a couple of missions in a video. We'll see what happens. But let's go do it. Kobali Prime, and um, I will say that I have explored Kobali Prime on a different character. I have another character in this game who uh, I am also working on. Actually, I've got like three characters I'm working on leveling up at, at the same time, and one of them is about the same level as Ensign Ricky right now, and I've done a couple of the Kobali Prime missions, and then I've gone and looked around on Kobali Prime to see what's around. All those known or found missions that you come upon that you've seen before where you go and it's like found mission blah blah blah. I've done some of those to see if they're worth recording and to be honest with you they're not and I'll talk about that as we uh, get down here. But um, it should be, uh, it sh we're going to pretty much just do the basic uh, main storyline missions with General Cunell and uh, whatever other contacts. But if you look on the map, I have discovered that there are these red circles, and I finally figured out what they are, and it is exactly what it says. These are open missions. They come and go on this Kobali Prime homeworld. There's some, like, you know, time limit. They run for a certain amount of time, and then they go away, and then they come back. And I don't know the, the scheduling or the timing and all that. But different ones will pop up in different areas. And uh, there's like three or four different ones in this whole section right here alone that will pop up. None are on right now, but as we go on, you'll see some pop up. These are just open missions that you literally just walk into that area, walk into that circle, and you can do whatever the mission requires you to do. If it's like one of the missions was in the trenches was like kill the Vaudoir or the opposition on the other side as many as you can. Uh, some of these, I mean, they're really easy. They're not difficult. You just go in and do them. One of these was like plant these transmitter things where you had to turn on and everything and then you had to fight Vaudoir at each one. They're easy to do but they don't really get you a lot of stuff and that's the problem with them that I see is it's only you only get like five or seven five to seven delta marks per open mission so they don't reward enough to actually be worth it. it I mean if you just if you do like one of them or two or three you're just not gonna get a whole lot for it so I'm not going to record video on these open missions because these are, again, something that you can do as the player on your own time. You can just go in if you're feeling like you just want to do something. But their reward ratio versus what it takes to do the mission, even though they're easy, is really not worth it. You don't really get a lot of dilithium. You don't really get a lot of marks. So it's not worth it. But you can do it if you want to go experience it yourself. I'm just not going to record video on it because it's kind of a waste of time. Also, the open missions, or not the open missions, excuse me, the found missions are almost the same way. There's these little things that you can come upon in the different areas on the map, and it will say, like, found mission, communication array, or whatever. And if you do that little found mission, again, it's very, very easy, but you only get a few marks for it. You do not get a lot of marks. It's really not worth the time. 
And so far, out of all the ones that I've done, none of that helps with the storyline. And that's the real important part here for me recording videos is if it's not going to benefit the storyline, it's kind of not worth it. The open missions and the found missions do not further the storyline. They have nothing to do with the storyline. So they're just like little things like the communications arrays was literally go uh, scan these communications arrays. There was one where I had to go find like data from Kobali uh, stuff or something. It was it was just easy stuff, but it didn't mean or do anything. And then you just get like five marks for it. So it's just not worth it. So those little found missions and the open missions, I'm gonna pass up on videos, but just know that they are there. And if you choose to go do them, that is great. You certainly can. There is stuff out there like that. It's just not going to further the storyline and there's no real big mission reward for it. Whereas the, the actual missions here on Kobali Prime, there are worthy rewards like we talked about in the last video or the last couple of videos there was uh, there's going to be a reward that we're going to I'm going to really enjoy and that is the warfare specialist doff that you can get versus vaudoir and that is a worthy reward you want that reward so you can only get that through the main missions on Kobali Prime so that's what I'm gonna focus on You'll also notice these little blue areas here, these three blue areas. These are like Kobali camps. They're shielded from uh, from the uh, Vaudoir. However, some Vaudoir still get inside. You, you can attack them. But these little areas have our contacts, and what you'll see is as we continue the Kobali storylines, we will move from each camp or each area to each area and get a new contact, and then that contact will actually be where we get new missions from uh, General Q Nell will no longer be our main mission handler. It will now be contacts out here in the field. And uh, as we work our way around it, there's other camps out here as well. So that's kind of how Kobali Prime works. It, it, it's, it, it makes more sense as we get into it. So let's continue. What do you have we for me now? can't stop until the Vaudoir leave our world. Data recovery. Before we begin, I must apologize on behalf of the Kabali people. We meant no harm in using the Vaudoir. When we found the stasis pods, many of them were damaged beyond saving. We honored their fallen by using their forms to preserve our species. The Vaudoir, however, do not... Our ways are difficult to understand. For some, they may be reprehensible. Underline that word. No matter what the Vaudoir think, we cannot end this practice without dooming our species to extinction. And that we will not do. Jatanian has sent word that he needs aid. Are you willing to help him? Yes, I am. And the reward for this one will be major research boost. Two times quality improvement chance. So see, there's rewards like this if you're into R&D and stuff like that. Um, this will help you. We can't stop. And uh, yeah, this is this is the whole big problem with uh, the Kobali and and what they're doing is they're taking the dead and changing them into Kobali. That's what they do. But they're doing the the Vaudoir that are in the stasis pods on this planet. They're doing that to them and not giving back their their people. It is a very questionable act. not saying the Vaudoir Saints, they're definitely evil, but the Kobali also have their problems. Speak with Henshin Jetnayan. We're hanging in there, but we could use your help. Your father said you needed more supports. Yes, thank you for coming. One of our bases has been overrun. That facility contained research vital to our cause. Could you go to the base, recover the data, and bring it to one of our forward command posts? One of what? our scientists will be there waiting for you. Recover data from overrun Kobali base. I'll recover the data, and that is that. So we need to scan a certain amount of things I see here. Let's see where we need to go. We're, we're now heading east. We've been spending a lot of time over here lately in the last couple of Kobali Prime missions. Now we're going to be headed east. Eventually we'll work ourselves over to this camp. All right, eastern outskirts. Now, here's what I don't like about Kobali Prime. It's almost hard to do the missions because everywhere you go, you run into these group of Vaudoir and have to take them out. 
and it really slows you down, and they keep respawning pretty fast. So here's some things we need to scan. This data details the biology of the Vaudoir. The Kobali discovered the Vaudoir studying Kobali biology. It's interesting the things to scan are right here, they're not even in the circle where I, where I need to be. <laughs> Not a lot of war around here now. Oh, this is one of those found missions or missions communications breakdown. This is what I was talking about. Those little missions like that. Uh, this one here has you s just scan a few things and, and, and talk to your contact. So they're really easy, but they don't reward anything special. So not worth it to, um, to do, really. I mean, I guess if you spent all day in Star Trek Online and you were on Kobali Prime and you just did that stuff like all day, I guess in time you would c accumulate a lot of marks because you get like five marks for each one. So if you did it a whole lot of a whole lot of times, <laughs> although there are a cooldown on those missions, that's that's a problem too. The data shows Kobali studies done on Vodwar corpses. I'm stuck. Bali discovered that the Vaudoir were spying on several of their scientists. This is what I mean. It's almost hard to do these missions because you keep getting bombarded by Vaudoir everywhere. The Kabali are attempting to hide biological research from the Vaudoir. It's another one of those found missions, missions, communications breakdown. Um, sir, I recommend accessing a Vodwar console to e erase the Kobali data. Over here, apparently. Ah, here we go. Enemy targets on sensors. Hanchen in the next forward camp will be waiting for us. Meet with Hanchen Sadalor in the forward camp. So now it's going to take us to this next camp over here. Uh, another another contact for us. Where are my bridge officers? Oh, they're up here fighting Vodwar.
Yeah, so many VOD war. It's, it's really hard to do these missions. You can't continue because you have to stop and fight them off. I think they need to decrease the spawn rate a little bit, in my opinion. Come on, bridge officers. Guys, uh, just leave them behind. <laughs> I'm moving on. They'll catch up with me eventually. Maybe. That's another thing I don't like, is your bridge officers get stuck fighting Vaudoir because they uh, can't move on. Okay, here we go. S talk to you now. Thank goodness you're here. You've recovered the data from our lost base? Excellent. I knew you could get the job done. Now, we need your expertise on several issues we're encountering. And that's it. That, see, that mission was very short, uh, very easy, and now we get this reward, major research boost. Ta-da! So these missions are pretty short and they're worth doing because the rewards are worth it. So now that that's done, we can continue the next one. That was pretty short, so I guess we'll just continue with the video here. Um, this is our next contact. Now we can go back to Cunell, but he's not going to have a mission for us. And neither is the contact back here. Our contact now is this dude, and the next mission is called Looming Shadows. So let's do it. The scientist in our camp could use your help. We are examining the bodies of fallen Vaudoir and are encountering a type of chemical we have never seen before. We're hoping you may have the resources to identify what the chemical is. So we need to examine fallen Vaudoir bodies for chemical traces and we will get a career specific Mark 13 reward. So that is worth it too to get a uh, Mark 13 reward. And the fallen Vaudoir are just right here. We don't even have to go far. Your scans pick up a foreign chemical in the Vaudoir's bloodstream and DNA. The chemical does not appear to enhance anything in the Vaudoir's physiology, but there are traces of Kobali signatures in the chemical patterns. Send findings to the ship. We've received the data. These, these are interesting. The presence of Kobali-like signatures give me an idea. I am going to run a quick simulation that replicates the genetic virus that the Kobali used to turn, turn corpses into living Kobali. Aha! That's what I thought. The Vaudoir have injected themselves with a chemical to prevent the Kobali from turning them into, well, Kobali. It's highly experimental and somewhat volatile, but it works. If the Vaudoir perfected it, managed to inject it into all of the stasis pods beneath the temple, they could stop the Kobali from taking their people. Interesting. I'll take this data to the field commander. Well, so the Vaudoir are injecting themselves with a chemical that prevent the Kobali from turning their corpses into Kobali. I mean, that makes sense. If people are decimating your dead and turning them into a different species, you would want to come up with a uh, some kind of drug that could prevent that. That makes sense to me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the Vaudoir doing that. I would want the same thing done uh, to me. I don't want to become a Kobali after I die, or a loved one dies, or whatever. So, makes sense to me. I'm with the VOD war on this one. Sorry, guys. Thank you for coming. We're doing our best to hold out in this area. Hanshin, I have the data on those chemicals. Excellent work. We've already lost several scouts assigned to search the VOD war bases for this information. <sighs> oh, no. This could be devastating. The VOD war intend to destroy our ability to reproduce. We need more information about this chemical. Um, wait a minute. Are you, are you transforming Vaudoir killed into, in battle, into Kobali? Of course we are. What else would we do with them? You son we of a- We give the Fallen a chance to be reborn. And now that the Vaudoir are attempting to eliminate our entire species, we must take every opportunity to expand it. Uh, don't you think the Vaudoir find this dishonorable? Dishonorable? We believe that not turning a lost soul into a Kobali is a grave insult. It is saying that person was so despised, so destructive, that they do not deserve a second chance at life. It's not the same person, I would though. not wish that upon anyone. Not even the Vaudoir. I don't agree with the Kobali on this one, I'm sorry. I have to completely disagree. 
Let's get back to the matter at hand. What are you planning? We have already lost several scouts trying to get this information. Now we need to focus our efforts on obtaining samples of this chemical. We have no scouts to spare. So you will have to take up the charge to recover chemical samples, either from dead vaudoir or canisters left in the field. Are you certain your other scouts are dead? We have reports that they may still be alive. However, we have to act fast on this new lead. If we do not strike now and gather more samples, the Vaudoir could potentially stockpile more of these chemicals. It is a regrettable decision. But we must consider the future of our people. Our scouts knew the dangers of their mission. I don't agree with them. All right, we have two options here. Rescue scouts. The scouts are more important. I will rescue them or recover chemical samples. I'll focus on getting the chemical samples from dead vaudoir. Uh, no thanks. I don't agree with what you're doing, so I'm going to go rescue your scouts. That's probably more important. I wonder what the other option leads to, but uh, I've got to go with rescuing the scouts on this one. Recover captured Kabali scouts from Vaudoir. Now we're moving even further into the forest here. Whole, a whole nother new area. We're also entering um, one of these open missions called Ambush. Escort Kobali scout back to the nearby base. I'm not going to do that, though. But that's basically how these open missions are done. You just walk into the area. But I'm going to do the mission we're on right now. What is this guy glowing over here for? Let's see what this is about. Oh, this is probably the ambush thing. You have to, like, lead them back to the camp. Nope, I'm not going to do it right now. Let's stick to the mission we're on. I got one of three already, so we're doing good. Two or three. Confer findings with your bridge officers. Well, let me get out of combat first. Everywhere you go, there's a Vaudoir group. Captain, some of the scouts we rescued mentioned an abandoned Vaudoir base nearby. They might have left something behind. This could be a good opportunity for us to look for more details on the Vaudoir plans. I'm getting shot at. Go to the av abandoned Vaudoir base. We will head to the abandoned Vaudoir base. Looming Shadows, complete open mission left behind. So we've got an actual open mission we have to complete before we can move on. But let me kill these Vaudoir that are attacking me first, so that I can move on. Okay, I need to move into this circle here. Oh, well, we're by the water. So what is this mission that we have to do? Complete open mission left behind. What is left behind? Extract chemical data from Vaudoir console. Left behind. It's an ambush. Repel incoming Vaudoir. Okay, so that's the open mission. Just repel Vaudoir. Interesting that they've attached open missions to the actual mission. I guess they're trying to teach you how to do open missions. 
so that if you want to do other open missions on Kobali Prime, you'll know how to do them. I'm here with reinforcements. You are? Who are we you? We have to form a plan of attack. You are Captain Dralia. I'll try to override the console. We need to get these shield generators working. Activate temporary shield generators. I'm guessing the things with the arrows over them. No, I didn't do anything. Who are you? And you're doing it all for me, so I don't have to do it. That's weird. Who are you, by the way? Oh, you're another player. Duh. So I've got another player helping me now. Oh. I didn't know that you could do that. You can kind of share these missions by having other player. That's interesting. It's real interesting, actually. Oh, there's one more. Where is it? Good question. I do not know. Oh, I guess it's done. <laughs> Thank you, other player. It's kind of cool that you can share these open missions like that. Enemy target on Personal shield losing power. All right, um, repel final attack. Yeah, it's cool. I got like a couple of other players in here now helping me. Well, that definitely the makes. Is all yours. There we go. Open mission Get all done. The data you can. Tier four reward: dilithium delta mark skill points for completing the actual open mission. But now we have more to it. Recover data from Vodwar console. Now we can complete the mission we were on. Have you found anything? Um, did I? I'm very quiet. Apparently I did, and I have no idea what I'm saying. If that's true, then... What's true? What did I the say? The Bodwar intend to infect everyone on the planet, living and dead, with this virus. If well, yeah. they succeed, it could mean the extinction of the Kobali no, people. No, it wouldn't, because the Kobali will I'll convert other dead. I'll more data. Recommend you inform the Kobali immediately. She's completely wrong, because the Kobali will transform any species dead. It won't condemn the, the Kobali. If the Vodvar can't be turned into Kobali, it, will, it won't condemn them at all. That is completely false. The Kobali would just go after the other species dead, as they've always done, instead of the Vodvar. So how would that... I don't get it. Just don't get it. Thank you for coming. We're doing our best to hold out in this area. Commander, the Vodvar plan to spread the anti-Kobali serum... Oh, to all species. Okay, not just the Vodvar. Well, if they spread it to all species, I guess that would condemn the Kabali. What a messy situation. I don't even... We can't let this happen. The Vodwar clearly want more than this planet. They want to drive us to extinction. Please, take this news to General Kinnell. We've repaired the transporter at this base, so you should be able to come and go as you please. I'll go speak with the General at once. Well, this is a conundrum, and I don't know the answer. Bali City. The Bad War plan to make all organisms immune to rebirth? They have gone far beyond what I thought they were capable of. This is no mere war. This is an attempt at genocide. I will inform the members of the Alliance at once. We may need to move battle operations forward to combat this new threat. We will need your help again soon enough. All right, turn this in and let's see we what our can't stop until the Let's see what our reward is. It looks like we got a mechanic kit module malfunction mark 13. And an engineering kit, Mark 13, threat turret. So there's our 13, I guess it's a kit reward. That's not bad. Here's the, see we only got five Delta Marks for that. That open mission that we did, 
was only five Delta Marts, and that's what I'm saying. Those open missions are very, very low on the reward, and they don't give rewards like the main missions do. We can't stop until the Vadwar leave our world. There are always attacks that you can help us with. So our next mission is not available till level 56. We can't. So we basically have now done everything we can at level 55 here on Kobali Prime in terms of the main story mission. But we did two missions, so that was pretty cool. They were pretty short, but that's cool. I'm just going to go back to our other contacts just to make sure. You can now use a transporter. We can go to the city outskirts and we can talk to one of those guys. And we can go back to the hill base and talk to the other guy. I just want to double check that they don't have any missions for me. Oh, I went to the wrong one. I meant to go to... I can't use this transporter. Crap. Well, I can use the transporter, I just can't use it while I'm standing on it. Let's go to... well, I can't. Okay, let's go back to the hill base. Hillside base. And let's go. Let's talk to Hanshin. Yeah, he's got nothing for me right now. And go back to city outskirts. We'll check with the other guy. And then we will have basically done everything we can at this level. Walk. What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on a plant. I had. There's no contacts at that one that I've seen yet. All right. I know I'm going to get attacked here by Vodwar. I'm just going to leg it. I'm just trying to get to a place. Flanking damage detected. Where I wanted to get to was right over here and talk to this contact. Here we go. We're hanging in there. And he's got nothing for me either, so... So that's that. We have uh, nothing else we can do. Um, we can do these, like, open missions. Like, here's a circle up here. We can go to and do it. Let me walk into it and I'll show you what happens. I walk into it. Here we go. Time on target. Defeat Vodwar in the opposing base. And then you've got time limit and you've got a certain amount of Vodwar to kill and then it's over but you're only going to get like five to seven marks. So I basically you can just other players are doing this too you just kill Vodwar but it's really the reward isn't worth the time spent in it. You just get a few marks and a little bit of dilithium it's not even much. So I'm going to skip on doing that stuff, but feel free to try it yourself if you want to. And those other found missions as well. Well, we've got an interesting storyline opening up for us on Kobali Prime here. The um, We've learned that the VOD War want to basically um, stop everybody from becoming Kobali. So the question is, how do you feel about that? First of all, how do you feel about the Kobali turning other species dead into Kobali? And then second, how do you feel about the Vodwar wanting to inoculate every species so that their dead cannot be turned into Kobali? Two very interesting questions, and I would love to hear you guys' input on it. So please, leave input, leave comments. I want to know what you guys think, because... I am conflicted on the matter. It, uh, it's definitely a, a debate worth having. The morality of both species is very wrong here, in my opinion. Uh, I think both are at fault. I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, it looks like I'm going to have to do some grinding to get to level 56 so we can do the next mission, Dragon's Deceit. Uh, look, I failed that <laughs> mission because I didn't, wasn't even doing it. But um, how many marks did I get for failing it? I got... None. Oh, I got one. I got one Delta Mark for failing. <laughs> Alright. We'll do the next mission next at level 56. We'll do Dragon's Deceit. That one is apparently a big mission, so stay tuned. A lot will be revealed, I think, and it will be um, 
something that is uh, supposed to be, it's supposed to at least be the big mission of the, the Delta Rising stuff. So stay tuned for that one. I guess you won't want to miss that. But I'm going to have to do some grinding to get to 56 before that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.